generally our human nature doesn't like excessive force. My family all has different stamps, um, but we just decide to honor each other. In response to COVID-19 vaccine mandates, thousands gathered on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. at an event called Defeat the Mandates, an American homecoming rally. Guest speakers at the event included co-creator of mRNA vaccine technology, Dr. Robert Malone, activist Riza Islam, politician Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and ex-professional cyclist Kyle Warner, who experienced a career-ending vaccine injury. Al Magazine was in attendance to capture some of the action and interview a few of its many attendees. All medical procedures, vaccines, and drugs have risks. If there is risk, there must be choice. This is the fundamental bedrock truth of modern bioethics. This is what you get when you decide to go after a person's child. This is what you get when you choose to attack men, women, medical professionals, those with degrees, those without degrees, and all in between. We as a people have to continue to come together regardless of your color, regardless of your creed, regardless of your religion, regardless of whatever you call yourself, because to them, none of that matters. They ended the study in six months. They told us it was going to go for five years. They ended it in six months, they unblinded it, and they gave the vaccine to the placebo group. So we will never know the long-term impacts of this vaccine. We are not conspiracy theorists and anti-vaxxers. We are Americans, just like you, from every different background possible. Yet we are united by one thing. We were asked to do our part by our country and then cast aside in the name of profit. Whether it's polluting our water, poisoning our food, or putting carcinogens in our homes, we know corporations cannot be trusted blindly. I am an autistic adult who has experienced um, various vaccine injuries throughout my life. Not you know, public health tries to create a one-size-fits-all policy for the non-disabled majority, thinking that there's nothing worse than certain things that for disabled people, there are things far worse than what the public health officials want to avoid. For Christians, you believe that the body is a temple of the Holy, God, the Holy Ghost, and so you are mindful of what you put into your body. But what they put out, it, it doesn't even meet the definition of vaccine. I mean, they literally had to, you know, hog tie Merriam-Webster and make them change the definition of the word vaccine because these mRNA injections are mutated genetic material. Not a mutate, not a weakened virus, which a traditional vaccine is. I, any moment I can be out of a job, I've already been threatened to lose my job twice. I just graduated school two years ago. I started working as a nurse a year ago. It's just spreading everywhere, these mandates. So it's kind of cornering me and making me feel like I might not be able to be a nurse for long term. I can't work. Like I used to. This has impacted me and my life tremendously. And to see the separation of humanity in real time, we can't let this keep going on. And our families have blacklisted us, disowned us, and distanced themselves from us. We've lost, you know, closeness with nieces, nephews, relatives that don't want us around because we're not vaccinated. I personally chose to get double vaccinated, and so did most of the people in my family. Um, but I'm just for freedom of choice. Because okay. it's so sad watching these times as they change, and it's so So take that.